Uh, it was one of excitement uh, because uh, <coughs> the department, we are very much involved in ensuring that we develop uh, our fashion designer and uh, ensure that uh, this aspect of the industry is well known and understood. But what we also have, if I can just make a slight correction, what uh, also came to our attention uh, from our work uh, in the department is that uh, Dr. Mbata is the first South African uh, to obtain the PhD from TUT. Uh, however, there's been others uh, who were told uh, with uh, PhDs uh, in fashion before him, like uh, Dr. Tendegam Laouli from the University of Manchester and Dr. Nassan Naidu. In fact, there are four of them. <coughs> uh, but uh, be that as it may, uh, it's, it's, it's a wonderful treat and uh, achievement uh, for him uh, and, and really for the, the industry itself because uh, it's one area uh, of uh, the broader creative sector uh, which um, we have uh, dedicated ourselves uh, to ensure that we, we have creative hubs uh, in provinces uh, and of course uh, there's not been as effective all of them as they were because of uh, such challenges, competitive, uh, they don't have competitive advantage, for instance, mm -hmm. as they are far from uh, the cities and so on. But this is an achievement which I think that uh, uh, all South Africans should be proud of. Now, just to speak to us also briefly, Minister, regarding the industry, not just fashion, but arts and culture in general, there was a bit of an uproar, people having sit-ins, unhappy with your department's support of them in general. Have those issues been resolved to date? Maybe let me say that uh, <coughs> the, the, the department uh, will not be in a position to resolve all the problems of the industry. It's such a huge industry, and if you look at the... Uh, the finite uh, resources financially the department has, it will make a mark, uh, but definitely will not be able to get everybody on board. Coming to what people have raised as a serious matter with the department uh, in recent uh, months, uh, that has to do with uh, how uh, funds were handled at uh, one of our entities, which is the National Arts Council, and uh, as we speak now, um, processes of investigation are on and so on. But uh, I must uh, emphasize the point that from the beginning uh, of uh, the disaster, uh, when the president uh, announced uh, uh, the national disaster last year, uh, we have endeavored as a department to avail uh, resources, financial and otherwise, uh, to the industry. And uh, a lot of people have benefited uh, out of that, and they continue to, but we acknowledge that we will never, ever satisfy the industry itself. And Minister, before I let you go, you are attending a Shalene Surti Richards a funeral service this afternoon. What are your departments and your personal words to her family and South Africans who have also lost an icon? Well, uh, th this really was an icon. Um, uh, the president uh, has uh, decided that uh, she should be given the honor uh, of uh, the special official funeral, uh, precisely because of who she was. And uh, as government, generally, we agree uh, with uh, the presidency that uh, actually uh, on stage and on screen, uh, she was there to represent and inform people uh, about our unjust past. But also, uh, she was giving a message of hope uh, for the future. Uh, what we can say uh, from the department's point of view is that uh, a lot uh, should be learned from her, her legacy. One such is the fact that uh, she was very proud of her identity uh, and, and very defiant about it in other ways. She made a point that people should not feel inferior about who they are at any given point.
Uh, Minister, I haven't given permission to uh, continue just a little bit longer uh, with you. Going back to your previous point of uh, your department not being able to resolve all of the issues that have been raised by uh, various artists, uh, what more can and will be done in the near future to try and at least address the issue of those who were due to be paid uh, the amount that was set aside uh, for uh, the, the national dis or under the National Disaster Management Act uh, to help them during this COVID-19 time when they were not able to work? Look, uh, we have been uh, on the path for the relief uh, funding uh, for the sector just to uh, ease the impact, the COVID-19 impact. Right now, we're taking a, a step of reconstruction uh, of the economy, this, this creative economy. Uh, as you heard uh, last week that we announced that the Mzansi Golden economy funding, uh, which is more about job creation, which is more about sustaining the industry. That's the forecast now, because uh, the, the, the area of uh, relief uh, is important, but also it is important uh, to for the recovery and the reconstruction of the economy. So this is what we are focusing on now. And as we've uh, you know, uh, invited uh, all South Africans to ensure that they work with us in this process of, of uh, recovery and reconstruction of this uh, very important economy for us. Well, Mr. Nettentetter, we'll leave it there for this afternoon. The